Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Tuesday the 19th of July, 2022. Let's recap everything that went down today. First of all, on an interesting episode of the Level 1 Podcast, we talked about the two new games that I was starting up today, Stray and As Dust Falls, talking about the unique gameplay elements to each, the opinions of people on the internet who have been playing some of them, and basically how I was going to cover them for this week. Then, we had essentially what will be our final lengthy discussion about PC components. We talked about whether or not I should seek to get a webcam or perhaps a separate camera slash camcorder to hook up here and record for a new setup, which we're discussing getting very shortly because I'm seemingly having problems with my current setup, as well as lighting, the possibility of a green screen, and many other things. If you'd like to hear that discussion, check out today's episode of the Level 1 Podcast from this morning where all that stuff is discussed in detail. And by far, if you'd like to add to it, please leave a comment on that video. I'm taking in all of your feedback over this last week about an upgraded setup and what I should look for, okay? There really is not much left to talk about in that regard besides maybe a good website to go to to make your own PC a pre-built, which I'm sure you guys maybe have different suggestions on where to go. We'll probably talk about that briefly tomorrow and then kind of summarize everything that I learned over the week and see where we go from there. Okay? Excellent. Then, on the first gameplay session of the day, we started with Stray on the PlayStation 5. Initially, I had Jasper Kitty in here to watch. And he watched for about five minutes, actually really enjoyed it, was riveted watching the screen, and then immediately got upset that he was in here with the door closed, part of the door, and I let him out, and that was the end of that. He never came back. Um, It was fun, man. Stray, first of all, the graphics are absolutely amazing. Let me put it this way. The graphics of Stray are so good, okay, that this game, the, the, the world is so detailed, and it runs at such a silky smooth 60 frames per second, that my capture setup was pushed to the limit and my CPU was frequently maxing. And I was getting error messages popping up saying, if this keeps happening, you may get a blue screen of death because you are maxing out your setup. It's that graphically intensive. It's that good. The lighting is outstanding. The detail is outstanding. The world is outstanding. The story is outstanding. The interactions with the different robots are outstanding. The puzzles and the different things, the traversal. I love this game. I'm three hours in. I think this is an insanely good game. I couldn't believe I was saying to everyone, this game is like better than it deserves to be because it's by an indie studio. It's didn't get, I mean, did it get some advertisement? Yeah. But did they act like, oh my God, this is groundbreaking draw, draw dropping style of game? No, it is. It literally is. Okay. Outside of the fact that at the very tail end of my stream, I ran into a game bug where my poor kitty was stuck in place, couldn't move. And I had to reload and mo- lose eight minutes of gameplay. Outside of that, Everything was great about this game. I literally cannot wait to jump back in tomorrow. And by the way, the reports are, oh, you can beat this game in four hours. Of course you can. It's a puzzle game. You can beat it in four hours if you know exactly what to do and you're not looking for any supplementary information about what's going on in the game world. If you're simply just rushing around, solve a puzzle, solve a puzzle, progress, solve a puzzle, solve a puzzle, make more progress, then you can beat it in four hours. That's not the kind of gamer I am. We played for three hours today, and but the way people are saying, there's a minimum six, maybe eight hours for me, depending on what happens, you know, moving forward. So we'll see you tomorrow as we continue on. It will be the main gameplay stream on Wednesday, okay? I loved it. Again, if you didn't watch it, get caught up on YouTube, on DSP Gaming, right here on demand. It's available, and you should enjoy it. I loved it, okay? Then on the late stream, we tried out As Dawn Falls, a narrative-based game that I purposely stayed away from from story spoilers because I did not want to be spoiled on this. In a nutshell, it's about a family moving who interject with a bunch of criminals. And there's a tense situation that happens. Now everyone's stuck in this really tense situation and it's a pretty crazy story. Your choices have dramatic consequences. People live or die. People end up in a hostage situation or not. Different people end up in different situations. It's pretty wild how... This game is branching out. When you beat a chapter, it shows you all these different ch- uh, choices you could have made and how it would have changed the outcome. So, so far, two hours in, I love it. The writing is actually good. Unlike characters in a recent narrative-based game that I played, The Quarry, no one here is overly obnoxious or unbelievable. Um, the story is quite interesting. It's very sus- suspenseful. It reminds me of watching like a movie of this type. Um, I'm really having a good time with it. The audience loved it. The people who were here tonight thought it was amazing. I mean, they went into it very skeptical. Admittedly, the art style of this game being 
a freeze frame and then, oh, another freeze frame, and then another freeze frame, no real full motion, is very jarring and different if you're not used to it. But once we got into it, people forgot that it was th that art style. You know what I mean? Like, at first, everyone's like, oh, it looks weird. And all of a sudden, we were all so into the story that we forgot all about it. It was that good. So, personally, I had a blast with As, du As Dust Falls. I cannot wait for more tomorrow. I, I don't know where it's going. Apparently, the, g the, the game has six chapters. We beat two tonight. So, we're probably, you know, about an hour a chapter. Maybe the last chapter's longer. I don't know. But, so far, so good. I'm absolutely loving the game. And I cannot wait for more. So, and by the way, today, engagement was great. Support was great. Everything was great. It was an ins insanely cool day. I had a great time with everything we did today. I'm very happy that it turned out that way because I was actually saying to my wife, Kat, earlier, you know, what? If, even if one game is really good and one sucks, at least that's 50-50 and we really need like a shot in the arm, something new to do because I've been playing so much retro stuff recently because there's been no releases. We got two good games today. That's cool. The other cool thing is, they're all subscription games. If you either have Game Pass or you have PlayStation Plus or a combination of the two, these games you don't even have to buy outright and you still enjoy them. So I'm having a great time. I cannot wait. I literally cannot wait for tomorrow now because the games were so good today. I, I'm just really anticipating more awesome gameplay starting tomorrow morning. Speaking of which, that's what we're doing tomorrow. The first stream will be the Level 1 podcast. Well, I'll give a bit of a summary of my thoughts on these games, maybe a little bit more in depth of what I just did. I will also adjourn my discussion about a pc uh and, and upgrading my setup we'll kind of like i said summarize everything we've talked about up to now and likely try to determine a business that i would, might, might want to get it from um and then it's more stray on the first stream don't know if we'll beat it we'll see and then it's as dust falls on the late stream so i'm pumped i'm excited i hope that you guys are too i, I cannot wait to basically do a do-over of today only now we're getting further even further into the games it should be excellent all right guys thank you all for a really outstanding streaming day if you were here on any of the streams i really appreciate that if not have fun get caught up at your leisure here on demand it's two great games i don't think you can really go wrong with either one i think you're gonna like them all right guys have a good night i'll see you in the morning for more awesome streaming fun i'll see you then peace out